Next we find the fourth roots of unity. That is 1 raised to power 1 by 4. That is cos 0 plus iota sine 0 raised to power 1 by 4. Which can be written as generalization. Cos 2 and pi plus iota sine 2 and pi raised to power 1 by 4. That is equal to using de Morey's theorem cos of 2 and pi by 4 plus iota sine 2 and pi by 4 where n is equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3. Putting the values of 0 we get 1, putting the value of 1 we get iota, putting the value of 2 you get minus 1, putting the value of 3 you get minus iota. Hence fourth, fourth roots of unity are plus minus 1 and plus minus iota. If we plot them on the argon diagram, they divide the unit circle into four equal parts. They form a square on the unit circle. Just as we have found cube root of unity, fourth roots of unity, similarly we can find nth roots of unity. 1 raised to the power 1 by n, which can be replaced by cos 0 plus iota sin 0 raised to the power 1 by n. We generalize it by adding 2r pi to 0. Therefore, it becomes cos 2r pi plus iota sin 2r pi whole raised to the power 1 by n. That is generalization. We make use of de Morey's theorem, it becomes cos of 2r pi by n plus iota sin 2r pi by n where r can take any values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to n minus 1. Putting these values you get, when we put r equal to 0 we get 1, when you put r equal to 1 you get cos of 2 pi by n plus iota sine 2 pi by n. When we put r equal to 2 you get cos of 4 pi by n plus iota sine 4 pi by n and so on up to cos of 2 times n minus 1 pi by n plus iota sine of 2 times n minus 1 into pi by n. These can be also written as 1 cos 2 pi by n plus iota sine 2 pi by n. Third, cos 2 pi by n plus iota sine 2 pi by n whole square and so on up to cos 2 pi by n plus iota sine 2 pi by n whole raised per n minus 1. If you put z equal to cos of 2 pi by n plus iota sine 2 pi by n, it becomes 1 z, z square, z cube, z raised to power n. Note that if we plot these points on the argon diagram, they form the vertices of a regular polygon of n sides on the unit circle. That is the first. The second property is their sum. 1 plus z plus z square plus so on up to z raised to power n minus 1 is equal to 0 because this form the geometric series can easily prove to be equal to 0. And the third, their product 1 into z into z square into z raised to power n minus 1 will become minus 1 raised to power n minus 1. These are the three important properties of the nth roots of unity. Next we try to find out the locus of certain position P, X, Y in Argon diagram. We say Z is the point P with coordinates X, Y which represents the complex point that is X plus iota Y. Z is a point with coordinates X, Y also OP which is in the form of vector represents the complex number z. If q represents the complex number z1, then the vector qp is represented by z minus z1. Also, the modulus of z minus z1 will represent the distance between p, which is z, and q, which is z1, that is pq. We note here that angle POX is equal to argument of Z and angle QOX which represents the argument of Z1. Therefore, angle POQ is equal to argument of Z that is angle POX 
minus argument of Z1 that is angle QOX which is equal to argument of Z minus argument of Z1 which can also be written as argument of Z by Z1.